Welcome back, everybody, to our final episode of Devonport. And I have to say, this is going to be a great episode. I've had a uh, amazing change of heart as we get into this beautiful sunset here in city skylines. I mean, just look at our city here. It is magnificent. Look at the beautiful sun skies, the jets, the planes, the moon, as it will just glisten over our city. This is what it's meant to be. And today, we're gonna do a dirty. Yes, folks. We've done everything that we can to this city. And the first thing that we're going to do is because of a certain, how can I say, pandemic, we need to make sure that we have our healthcare fully supportive. We need to make sure that we take care of everything else and shut off all non-essential services. Yep, isolation. It's gonna be the new normative for everyone. We're gonna to try to save as much money as possible and see how long our city will survive at 50%, all majority of all of its services, as we enter pretty much a citywide lockdown. And we will see if the city will survive at all. And to do this, we're also going to cut down on all of our industry so that only our essential services are available. All of our unique buildings are at 50%. All of our parks and services are at 50%. All of our education is at 50%. All of our police services will be at 50%. All of our water services will be at 50%. All of our electricity services will be at 50%. All of our road services will be at 50%. But the only thing that will really be of service is trash, healthcare, and maybe some fire. But you know what? We don't think they're essential either because you know, it's just the way it is. We're going to cut it all off. And uh, this is what happens. We're going back a year into lockdown. And we're saying, you know what? We are going to also say school is out. So we're going to go into policies. We're going to change something in here so that no one has to worry about going to school. If I can find it. <laughs> Where are you? Recreational. There we go. Everybody can do it. All right. Too easy. All right. Now, as the sun rises, we still see that a tsunami has kind of struck our city. And look, apparently, we're having some growth still happening in our city. Unbelievable. Let's change our radio station and go coast to coast and see exactly what we're going to be doing in our last episode and seeing if our town will survive this maybe exodus of what will happen in city skylines as we slowly but surely cut off all of our services. They're still making money, still got plenty of students, even though that we've cut off all of their funding. Now, one of the things that I think that we probably need to do is also take a look at the problems that are happening. We have water and sewage that's backing up. So hopefully this will change some of the people's minds around here. 
maybe we do need this as an essential service. We'll find out. It looks like we're also losing power. Throughout the entire city, but let's see how the rich people are doing. Oh, they're having some of the same issues. Let's go all the way over to the other super rich fancy district. Fawn Residence. Okay. Let's get a review. Looks like we got plenty of water in the reserve tanks. But sewage is suffering. And they need heating. I guess we really turned that one off. And I guess we turned off a majority of electricity here. So I guess we'll have to try to fix that and find a happy mediocre uh, in our taxes for this or, or our budget. So let's, uh, you know, try 75 or 76%. 80% there, 76% there. Okay, let's see if that works. We'll give it some time and see if this makes our citizens just a wee bit happier. But we're gonna call this the pandemic of 2062. Yes. We're going through these days as quick as possible here. It looks like we're still having some water and power issues. But we got just enough power. Apparently, we may need to have to hook some power up to the other side. There we go. Alright. There we go. <laughs> Let's take a look at our water. Heating's doing alright. Ooh, it looks like we may have to bring our water situation up to full par. Who knows? We're finally losing some folks. This is going to be quite interesting. We're learning what it takes to keep a city running. It is flushing <laughs> one turd at a time. Okay, let's see if we can bump this up to maybe 90% or get it as close as possible. Okay, and we'll bring you close as possible to 90%. There we go. I got roads at 50%. There we go. Alright, too easy. Still making a lot of money. Alright. Too simple. Too easy. Let's check and see where our water levels are. Just enough water. Plenty of power now. There we go. Okay. Alright. Still got some people doing their thing. Apparently these guys are flooding, apparently. I guess because we turned their water and stuff back on. <laughs> but it'll be okay. Things will get a lot better for them. Here very shortly because you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna try to destroy the entire place altogether. That's how we're gonna send this place off. 
it's fitting, it's worth it. We're going to see exactly what happens to the town as we bring this place into it. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to send a tsunami, probably a level 10, straight through here. See if it reaches all the way over to here and go from there. So let's uh, cue that up. Maybe it will free some uh, processing. <laughs> And we'll go from there because we will also launch all types of other crazy disasters. Actually, you know, let's back this off. Let's uh let's 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 do let's do last one was a three. So let's do a five this time. And we wanna hit right over here. There you go. Alright, and for all intents and purposes, we're also going to create a forest fire um, in this area so that the tsunami will also put out said fire um, so that we can actually see exactly what happens uh, during this. So let's grab the forest fire. Maybe we still have to wait for it to cool down. I'm not sure. But we will see what happens. And we'll click this over here. And it is cooling down. And there we go. We'll have a forest fire. We'll get a beautiful thunderstorm. We'll get that into the city over here. We'll get it right on the back side. And for giggles, we'll drop one of these into here. Just to see how much of a splash it makes. And if my computer completely turns off, I completely apologize in advance for it. Uh, but we will also see what happens when we send one of these way back over here. So this being episode 36, um, Plus a couple AFK scenarios. We are definitely trying to get rid of this town. We have a whole new series um, in development ready to go. And we'll be starting that tomorrow. And getting its 30 plus episodes on the docket as quickly as possible. So that we can get them up into the YouTube algorithms. So let's see if that uh, tsunami is coming in. It says it's detected like normal, but let's clear it out of here and see what happens. And kick back and watch. Well, nothing's happened yet. We got this beautiful forest fire coming in. Doing its destructive bit. Still waiting on that tsunami. If it's ever going to show up. I guess it's just sitting there, taking its time. 
and growing in power. Or maybe I completely forgot to put in some sewage de uh, tsunami detectors. Who knows? But I'll tell you this much. It's going to be interesting to see it as it comes across here. So let's make sure that we at least have a couple buoys. There we do. Got plenty of them. It'd be interesting if it comes through this way again. It'd be annoying if it did. last time it kind of like took all of this out took all of this out took all of that out took all of this out that was just a level three I want a level five to take all of this out forest fire is doing great And these guys are rebuilding right here. The tsunami has struck the city. All right, looks like we got a tsunami. Or is it a fake one? Please tell me you're the real tsunami. If you're the real tsunami, please stand up. There's our moon. Oh, that looks like the moon on the waves. Alright. Let's see if you ended up over here. Nope. It's not coming from over here again. Alright. So... Not even our th thunderstorm has decided to come in yet. Alright, so we may have to improvise this and try again. Okay, so we'll just back this off. Wait for it to cool down. There we go. Three, four, five. We are counting down. Maybe we will actually get something this time. It's like thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking like, do you really want to do this? Will you cancel out? Now one of the things I definitely want to do is turn these off. There you go. Turn these off. Very simply put. Alright. 20% cooldown. 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh my gosh, the anticipation is nearly disastrous. I mean, like when the city was a lot smaller, the little level three was a lot easier to send in. I guess when you're building a bigger wave, it's just taking its time to process everything. Plus, that was about 200,000 citizens back then. This is now double that, because I just kind of kept the demand on. So we'll see exactly what happens. I mean, the game engine's doing great. I mean, the CPU's only hitting 70%. GPU is only hitting... What is GPU at? 45%? Yeah, the CPU's at 80% on this. 
Yeah, the game's uh, got half the RAM it's eaten. We're at 50%. Let's see how the simulation turns out and if it's going to uh, do things. Looks like we finally got our thunderstorm. Our meteor is finally coming in. So let's uh, kind of get into this. Oh, we're waiting. We're waiting. 62, 63, 64, 65. Come on, 66. Order 66. Come on. You know what I'm talking about. And it skipped. 67, 68. And 69, there you go, 70, 30% more, and then we will be there. There should be water in my house, but you're about to receive a lot more water, trust me. Devonport is about to get flooded. <clears throat> We're nearing 80%. There we go. The meteor with a size of 10 is about to hit the city. You're darn right it's about to hit the city. Hopefully it hits the city at night. That'd be pretty cool to see. Come on. 88. Square Individual specialists are proud to present a box on both your houses. Andy, come on, come on, 91. And the family 92. 93. About opening your heart, finding acceptance, and inventing 94. 95. Come on, come on. There you go. And there's the meteorite. It's coming in. Let's get you out of the way. Into another box, which is a house. Your home, and that truly is ninety-nine. Of all, tune in every Wednesday. Oh, time television event. A box. Oh yeah. Presented by Square Packages, the packaging specialists. We all want to be prepared. We all want to be sure that the people we leave behind don't think we're jerks. That's where final insurance comes in. We provide peace of mind for when you rest in peace. Ooh, my fishing boat almost got caught. The thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. Ooh. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to the if any is available. Free hmm. dee Yo, folks. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact. Da 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 meteor strike has occurred. How many directions do they need to walk in at once, huh? All of them. You have to walk everywhere. Oh, we've got a huge storm over there. Look, these guys are still riding the waves. Trying to spin a straight line, but they got all confused following their own directions. Wow. Look at this. You can actually touch the bottom, like ha 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 ha. This is going to be beautiful. It's just going to rocket water all over New Jersey. Let's go take a look over at the other side of town. Wow. Look at that. Look at this. That is beautiful. Beautiful wall of water. It is coming for these folks. They have no freaking clue what's happening to them. Look at the this thunderstorm happening over the city. I swear to God, they shouldn't have tweeted it at me and told me that they did not like my lightning rods. The lightning rods are there to protect them so that their tall masts and stuff 
do not catch on fire. But do they listen to me? No. No. They chirp at me. They complain at me. Yes. Yes. I know I've legalized it all. But guess what? Y'all aren't going to care that these big waves are coming at you as the next morning is slowly approaching to destroy you and everyone around you. <laughs> uh, wow. And the water will quickly return. Look, even the fairy itself got stuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. There we go. Back down into the hole. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's have some fun with somewhere else. We have Butler Heights and these other heights. So let's go ahead and send some fun things at these guys. So we're gonna get a big meteorite. We'll make it another level 10. And we'll actually put it right here. So it actually hits something. There you go. That's gonna look pretty cool as it comes in. Alright. Man. Oh, man. These guys are getting themselves flooded. And, and our population's still growing. And, and let's see what they're complaining about anyway. Land value is low. I wonder why. Maybe because I legalized everything, huh? And I told everyone to get out of school. But over here, they're like, oh, it's the same thing. See what happens. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads. Well, and let's see if you actually are a tsunami. Are you a tsunami? Oh, you are a tsunami. Yes, you are a tsunami. <clears throat> and you are coming in. Look at you. Make it look like it's actually like part of the movies or something. Oh, that's a perfect shot right there. Yes, we have our own 2012 of 2020 for 2062 in Devonport. Tsunamis are coming in. Thunderstorms everywhere. The environmentalists were correct. Global warming is happening. The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Yes. Should avoid roads and waterfronts. Yes, you should avoid all the waterfronts. And just reach for the skies. Hmm. That's not going to be a good one. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Ooh. Yeah. How much of that water will recede, I tell you that much. Alright. It's time for another meteorite. We're going to come in and hit the city right here. Mm. 
There you go. I'm not concerned about those small little towns. Let's see. Yep, these guys did great over here. evacuated itself all the way down over here and it will destroy all of this as well we're still growing 420,000 what is wrong with these people I guess they're just trying to make babies and stuff of people coming in. It's got a big forest fire happening over here. Ooh, man, look at this wall of water coming in. Just doing good. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Try to speed this up. Get this destruction going as quickly as possible. Put you on the cinematic camera. Just amazing. The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available.
Man, that is still coming in. It's just taking its time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Till the water recedes. I don't think we're gonna see if the water will recede. We'll know when the water recedes. And it's coming in from over here. Oh, man. Ouch. That has a lot of energy. Like, it just, just came right over the mountains here. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Unfreaking believable there. Look at the water. Wow. Wow. I mean, if you were in your backyard, you'd be like, oh my freaking gosh. Like, look at this. Hey, look, my lights are still on. <laughs> What's that landing in my backyard? I don't know. Maybe a, a wall of water that's coming at me. Who knows? I know it's, I'm not fishing anymore, but... It's coming in. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Poor little guy. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh. The garbage truck guy is just doing his regular job. And we're about to be washed up with it. Will we outrun the water that is about to drench us? I don't know. I'm just a garbage guy. I am collecting my garbage. Oh no, I just don't know. We're over here waiting on the helicopter. I'm just taking my dog and stuff for a walk and walking myself. Oh, I'm on my way to work. These people don't know what's going on. But I think what they don't know is it's coming for them. It is so coming for them. It's like, literally, we are driving toward the dumpster fire of water. And I guess that guy gave up. <laughs> he saw he was dying. Here we go. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. No. <clears throat> the buildings are clearly being destroyed. At least I have my headlights on. And away it goes. I'm off the road. Let's go for a ride. <clears throat> and I'm now underwater. <laughs> the building is still there. And the camera view is still here. And we're now floating. As if we're a boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Devonport 36. This is great. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, we know a meteor strike has occurred. And we are driving on top of a roof. We're doing the little Hogwarts thing. Nothing we can really do. as the wave continues to push us through. As day comes in <laughs> and the water continues to push us around. 
like a toy. And the houses are now destroyed and we're looking back over our truck. Or the the other truck that got swallowed up before us. I think that is uh, a dis Oh, we just hit a house. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is horrendous. Horrible. Horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Climate change is real, folks. You're witnessing it firsthand. You are seeing it as it happens. The destruction, the chaos. It is, it is happening in real time here. Yes, it is real. Look at these things. Just way over here. Look, we had one that showed up over here too. Look at that. They're just moving all around the world, aren't they? <clears throat> But that's okay. We are waiting for you to show up, aren't we? Yes, indeed. Now, one of the things I definitely want to do is get another beautiful lightning storm. Those were amazing to see over here. Let's uh, get back into cinematic view. As we continue to watch everything get destroyed. Enjoy.
<sighs> the wave is finally reaching the crest of this hill. Let's zoom in. See what these residents have to say about it on the backside. Doesn't look like the flood is deterring these folks at all, nor these tourists in this uh, awful pandemic. You know, they're just doing their thing as we've reduced all of the traffic. We've only kept up with essential services and, uh, you know, <clears throat> allowed everyone to embrace the inevitable. Yep. Will the city survive? We just don't know yet. We just don't know. It's another day. It's another beautiful day. And to make sure that we get rid of the city, <laughs> we're going to make sure that we do it right. We're going to bring in a level 10. And the level 10 may not be the way that others see it, but we will make it so that no one has to go through this again, especially in Devonport. Because <clears throat> when you see beautiful things like this, still in our city, know that we've did everything that we can for these people. Yep. The only thing we did not do was provide them the means to evacuate because there is no federal regulation for bunkers, evacuation zones any longer. And that is something that we have grossly mismanaged and estimated here in the real world today. Yes, this may just be a game, but in fact it is just as real, even though it is a simulation. It's gone. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Well, it looks like we finally have lost some citizens. We went from 420,000 citizens all the way down to 360,000 citizens. Citizens, la. So we are surely losing them now. In the first wave of the destruction the forest in the service has stated that there is a risk of an imminent forest fire in the area. Yes, we know about that forest fire. It's been there for all the majority of the entire game. <clears throat> right, y'all are just now taking care of it. That's okay. I have a solution. The tsunami is going to come and put out the forest fire for you. Now, the only sad thing that may happen while we're playing this game is that I may lose like what is it great deal guys one word of warning though it's dangerous a lot of money so take me and these buildings are completely now gone we're at 67% for that level 10 tsunami that I called in on the other side of town. And it sounds like we have a real 
thunderstorm going on outside. So, little by little, we'll see what happens. And to finish this area off. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads. We'll make sure that we have tornadoes coming through to destroy anything that may remain. Because hopefully the tsunami that will crest this hill will do its job. How about this? And we'll put a thunderstorm tornado over here. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors until the storm has passed. Woohoo! We got the tsunami in the bottom right. A mega storm right over there. Mm mm mm. What a beautiful sight. It'd be interesting if one of these ships like gets washed away and then gets stuck on land. That'd be pretty cool. Our destruction has now increased our CPU up to 80 and our GPU is sitting still at around 50 so yeah. You know, when you're running two GPUs, you know, it, it's pretty simple. Now, originally on just the 580 by itself, it was uh, at 100%, but then got, got the brand new, you know, big boy video card in here. And uh, it's rocking itself. Yeah. Woo. I was scared to look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's move forward. Oh, let's see what type of damage we're getting. Hmm. Y'all are getting hit pretty bad. Horrible storm. Climate change is horrible. We got a huge tsunami coming in over here. Thunderstorms all around us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. do have an idea of how I can create additional tsunamis so let's give that a shot one No. Portsmouth. No, you're not naming the next city, my love. Yes, I am. I name all the cities. <sighs> Bremerton. 
No. San Diego. No. Neither. Treasure Island. No, Sarah. San Pedro. Even. Mm-hmm. How about Los something? How about Kabiti? What is a Kabiti? Kabiti? Yeah. Kabiti. Kabiti is the U.S. Navy uh, yard in the Philippines in 1941 and 42. Okay. Technically, we lost it around Christmas 1941. All right. Well, there... we blew up the whole thing. Well, there you go, folks. I, I, I don't. I think that could be a good name, but I don't know if it will be the official name of the next city. But if you want to learn more, definitely going to watch it and uh, see exactly what transpires and what happens as we. Um, try to destroy everything around this uh, town here. And see exactly what happens. Yes, we know the tsunami has struck the city. But we are trying to destroy this city as much as possible. With tsunami. And we have a level 5. Because we went up from a level 3. And we're skipping to a level 10 that we summoned over here. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what destroys the city first. Okay? One thing at a time. We're doing our best. It's about an hour into this destruction, and these people are still in here, rocking it, doing their thing. At Sternberg, our cars are more than just tons of metal to take you from point A to point B. And I think they may just find their way to get some safety. You know what we did forget? We have those, that little town back over here. Didn't we? Yeah, we flooded the crap out of it, didn't we? How are they doing? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but they're alright. They'll be okay. They're not in the best of condition. But they'll be alright. Meteorologists have issued a severe tornado warning for the area. Residents should be sheltered immediately if any is available. The Coast Guard is warning of a tsunami approaching the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. And sugary coffee bean drinks just as you like. Just a tsunami. Generally making more noise than anyone hmm. could reasonably ignore. So drink up and let the You never know, it could be too late, folks. Coffee fans. People are still flying, doing everything that they can. No one's thinking about evacuating. These guys are just awesome. All right, we're talking superheroes, folks. There's our level 10 tsunami coming in. You can just see it. It's just a wall of water. Right here. Crash all the coolest parties and hang out with the beautiful people. Hmm. And no one would ever know. Who would guess that napkin holder was little old me? 
Not Let's see if I can find a truck that's going the opposite that direction. So cool. uh, see, see if someone's actually driving into this. You know what? Your ship. Our regular listeners know my feelings on spiders. Yeah. I think these guys are having a bad day today, right now. Especially if your ship is looking at a wall of water. Just like that. <laughs> it's definitely a bad day on a good day. Let's bugger out of here. A forest fire is raging in the area. I know These that forest fire is still going. Where's that tornado? Just finish up Primrose Park. Completely destroyed it. Just completely gone. Hasn't even touched our forest fire at all. And is about to hit these guys right over here. I think I'm surprised that this train is doing what it can to hang out here. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Then that you're still struck the city. Take, take, take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until I know you're a big tsunami. I'll get back to you later. My cat Hope hates water. You're darn right, your cat better hate water. Apparently, they need electricity. Huh. Who would know? We're now down to 250,000 people. We only got like 2 million bucks. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Alright, and since we're here, we might as well just put this on 100%. Will strike the city in the near future. We'll fix the values. Immediately if any is available. We will come over to our gibbage and try to fix these guys. And see if they will rebuild themselves. If not, they're gonna take up a lot of my money. <laughs> Which will help me out even better. Because now I'll have less money. Probably need to turn that off. Before I end up broke. Oh yeah, I'm dead broke now. <laughs> Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will Fifty thousand dollars. I don't think it's gonna take it. Immediately, if any is available. Look at this beautiful tornado. Astrologists 
archaeologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter Thank you. immediately if any is available. Ah. If you want, you can add me as an uh, auto host as well. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Welcome, ACC. We are about to destroy this town because I just accepted a bailout. And these ships are about to get it. Ooh. Will it survive? I don't think it will. Oh, ho, ho, ho. right into its bow. But unfortunately, this is just a game. Meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. Ooh. A meteor strike has occurred. <clears throat> Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. And this will be our proper send off for Devonport. Bam. We'll put out those fires. See? We got plenty of water to help put out those fires. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Kaboom. Hmm. Bam. Meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. <clears throat> Come on, hit the ship, hit the ship. Nope. Ooh -hoo -hoo. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. We're hitting both of these at the same time. All right. A Deep underwater impact. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. <laughs> it's uh, taking a long time to get to this uh, location here, but it's definitely. Oh god now. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any Man, is available. Just as high as this building A here. Strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site Woo! and head to shelter if any is available. It's definitely worth doing. It's the easy way to make it happen. We still have this tsunami coming in. We have this level 10 tsunami coming in over here. A th th thunderstorm is battering the city. I Stay bet it is. The storm has passed. Let's grab a truck. We're just driving along. Oh, I bet we're taking the exit ramp too, aren't we? This is Tony G with Coast Coast Radio, you <laughs> Oh, this is gonna end, not end well. Keep it right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, you poor livestock truck, you. 
<laughs> you decided to go into a tsunami. Yep. I wanted someone that was going to stay on the bridge. Okay. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfalls. Oh no. Yes, lots of water. We got a huge wave over there on the left hand side. Will you make it home? Will you get there? I don't think you will. I think this wave will knock you off the bridge. I think that by the time that you find your exit, there will be no exit for you, McFly. It will be over for you. Ah. So shout out to Blackbeard. Thank you for telling me it's a nice camera angle. Thank you for telling me it's a nice view. These, ah, uh, it is. This map was amazing to pick up. I've had it for a good two weeks as we've uh, created Devonport changed a little bit throughout the entire map and oh my gosh definitely did not make it oh the wave has just washed us off the inter interstate there's there goes the jeep and there we go we're watching the thunderstorms and the tornadoes from the top of the water we are now surfing <laughs> on top of the level 10 tsunami Basically, we are flying with the tsunami as we are destroying everything around us and below us. Oh yeah. It's doing what it can. Jeez. And you despawned. Because, uh... <laughs> Yeah, we are definitely celebrating today because this is the, uh, the last episode in the series uh, before I start the next one. And uh, I start that tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to get that all started up. Uh, it's taking its time. We're now 1.5 million in the hole. Maybe, you know what? Maybe because now we're under that yeah, I now have the Statue of Shopping. <laughs> okay, what else can I get for having less money? Alright, let's take a look at our budget. During this little awful pandemic thing, we cut everything down. Loans, that 200000 isn't going to help us at all. Let's continue to destroy everything. That level 10 has uh, clearly, clearly washed out um, cozy heights. And the tornado has done its job. With all of these other little tsunamis doing its damage to bring the population down to the 8th manageable 130,000 and we're going to check out our transportation and see if people are still taking the bus yeah people are still taking the bus people are still taking the tram people are still taking the metro people are still taking the train People still taking the ferry, and uh, people are still taking the helicopter, apparently, and the monorail. Only a few people in the park, <clears throat> and sightseeing. People are still sightseeing. All right. <clears throat> the city may survive after all, but I think after this uh, natural disaster and pandemic, we will give it many, many, many thousands of years to see uh, what is left of this city as it will deteriorate 
and recuperate. So one of the first things we will do now is we will simply turn all of this off and see if we have any growth that sustains itself at all because I'm pretty sure the folks over here on the north side are still chilling and living and doing what they can especially up here in New Jersey for some odd reason they're still 11,000 strong oh blast is doing okay Watan Bond is doing okay Colime is doing okay Cape Blanco is doing okay Tom is doing okay and the happy fawn square is doing okay all right huh. but look at the flood it is doing its crazy 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 job here in the city skylines as we're about to then come in with meteor strikes here very quickly to then destroy everything. I think this is where we're going to leave off on this one. We're just going to come in here and level it all. We have all of this and this. We're now 2 million in the hole. Butler Heights destroyed. So. You get one. A tsunami has struck the city. I know a tsunami. And I think the the level three ones go a little bit quicker. Faster than the level ten ones. So we'll see if that's true. Fire. Hit these guys with that. Hit them. Hit them. A little park we can hit here. And here. Pleasant Square will hit right in the center. Brook District can come right over here. This old area can get hit pretty good. Never really like that area. Uh, Mongolian Heights was just one of those things I never really renamed. And Washington Park. Goodbye. I swear we can say goodbye to you. And as far as these folks, we'll leave that island for now. And let's uh, get the severity level brought up here. Kong Tong. A tsunami has struck the city. Cape Blanco. And avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Noise and party tonight. And up for the weekend, folks. Get your tailgate on. Eat some Colima. Food, grab some adult beverages. Always. And whatever this was. Take caution and avoid roads. Oh, yeah, I was just completely undistricted. I know I'll be cheering for the home team all the way. Shape up to be a wild right. if those boys can pull it off. And get rid of all the organic party. stuff. Get rid of all the IT stuff. Um. Y'all are going to have a blast. Mm. 
wonton. New Jersey. And then meteorologists are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Get rid of our prison. Citizens are advised to stay indoors. All right. I think we've uh, pretty much leveled everything that we can. Yeah. We'll see what uh, sticks around as we get into this last little bit. This is going to be interesting <clears throat> as we close out this episode. It's going to be the longest. It's going to be the greatest for this series. But you can always watch it again on the YouTube because it will be there for a very, very long time. Seek, seek, seek shelter immediately. I know. Yes. Yes. report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Yes. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Yes. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. We will destroy it. Should seek shelter immediately if any is available. You know it. A thunderstorm is battering the city. Stay indoors. And we're going to put in the campus music. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor Boom. will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter Boom. immediately if any is available. A tsunami Boom. will strike the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Astrologists report that a devastating me me meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. <laughs> Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head, 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 head to shelter if any is available. Oh yeah, you can a completely glitch out, a computer. Meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter. Bye bye, Washington if Park. A meteor strike. Has bye bye, High Square. Avoid the impact. Ooh, that building ate it. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. Mm. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the I don't think I'm going to be rebuilding any of these roads anytime soon. Nope. A meteor strike has occurred. Bye bye, Septus. Handcrafted circle roundabouts. Oh, blast and wanton. Goodbye. Bye bye, New Jersey. Boom. And to all you inmates, have a great day. Enjoy the freedom while it's lasting. Hopefully, you're escaping at this moment if you have not yet been vaporized. There you go. Let's see what the entire damage of that wave of destruction has caused our city. We basically took ourselves from 
over 400,000 all the way down to 95,000, about 10 million dollars all the way down to minus 3,000. We got plenty of water now. We got plenty of electricity and all types of power issues. Fortunately, we got a lot of holes in each of our cities as um, everything seems to, how could I say, be destroyed. Um, and not a lot of people probably want to stick around. So with this, thank you for watching. Thank you for um, liking and commenting on our game and sticking it out with us as we destroyed Devonport in our final episode of City Skylines. I know that it's not fully um, gone, but it's enough for me to get everyone nearly destroyed. I mean, like, look, residential demand is at two. I think the city may come back, but for me, this city is done for. Tomorrow we start our next city, and I invite you to come join us on Twitch. Comment and join us as we build the new city, and you get to join us and find out what its name will be tomorrow. So definitely tell us what you think about Devonport and what you enjoyed in the series. And be sure to share, and have a great night, everyone. Tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes.
Hey, Suna. 